So I want you to sit on the edge of your chair so your feet are on the floor. And by the way, one of the best things you can do if you sit a lot, remember your block, is to put a block under your feet. If your feet do not reach the floor when you're sitting in your office chair, terrible for your back. But if you have, so like I'm short, so I need a block. So if I take, so if you need to, take your block and put it under your feet. Don't Is your thighs be parallel or yes. slightly down okay? Or? Sli slightly down. Um, actually, see if you can bring them parallel. So everyone, let's just put a block under our feet because props are awesome. Okay. Sitting on the edge of the chair. Okay. So notice... Just go ahead and notice for a minute like where your hips are at. And then I want you to think about taking the sits bones back and apart. And you can watch my body. So I'm taking the sits bones back and apart. You see how I rose up just a little taller? Right? So you can even either think of taking pressing the sits bones into the chair, right? Or taking them back and apart. So it's as if you're grabbing your butt, the action is as if you're grabbing your butt and pulling the flesh out. Spreading your butt cheeks, essentially. That's the action, but it's more subtle. So how's this feeling for everyone? Any crunching in the low back for anyone? A little bit, yep. So that is probably because you already might have an, uh, a, a more anterior tilt, okay? So the next piece, I'm getting a little bit ahead, but this is gonna be a piece for the shoulders. Most of us, when a yoga teacher says, extend through the crown of the head, we do this. The front ribs pop forward, okay? So even in our kayaks, when we think of sitting up straight, it becomes this. So when this happens, this gets more crunched. So if we're taking our sits bones back and apart and lifting here, that can, not feel great and it's uh, not great alignment. So I want everyone to put your hands on your bottom ribs and I want you to take your back ribs back and your front ribs in. But don't curl under here. That's the tough part. So our bodies want to either be like this or like this. So uh, moving towards optimal alignment is meeting in the middle and that can be pretty tough. So sits bones back and apart, and then take the back ribs. So we're puffing this up back here, drawing the front ribs in. Do you feel how that creates more space, especially in the low back, to lift? Does that feel better, Natalie? Yeah. Yeah, so that's your work. Whereas someone who is more posterior tilted, they really need to work the sits bones, and they don't need to worry so much yet about the rib cage. Make sense? And if you feel like you're in the middle, you work both. Questions? Does this look right? Yeah, relax your shoulders. See how you, when you relax, you did this at first? So see if you can take your sits bones back and apart, lift through the back ribs, yeah, and then draw the shoulders back, and then draw the head back slightly. Without lifting the chin, just bring it. Yeah, yeah see, we have these, when we hear these cues, we automatically do these things, like lift the rib, lift the chin. Nothing wrong with it. It's just good to know what is actually meant by that. Make sense? What, and then relax.